Hey everyone, hey Marvel Legends fans, hey Avengers Infinity War fans, my name is James, this is the Nerd Room, you're watching another Marvel's Legends Infinity War unboxing. So before we get into that, I want to thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for subscribing already, thank you Devin for being a latest subscriber, I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so already, that way you know you can find out when I'm doing these videos or any other videos. Anyways. We're going on to the next figure in the wave. Uh, we've done five so far. This is the sixth one in the line, and the fifth one in the uh, Thanos wave. This is Marvel's Songbird. Originally, she was a villain known as Screaming Mimi, but Melissa Gold, you know, changed you know her her train of thought when she became part of the quote unquote superhero team Thunderbolts, which were the you know more or less the masters of evil in disguise in a plan concocted by Baron Zemo, but as she was doing the hero thing, she decided it's not such a bad life, so she stuck with it, and uh, there you go. Her powers are basically uh, she, the way her vocal range goes, depending on how high or how low she can, you know, use her vocals, it'll, you know, cause some kind of damage. And uh, she has technology which more or less can use her sonic powers to, you know, create objects or or solid objects, I guess. Anyways, okay, uh, I don't really know much about her, to tell you the truth, but, you know, I've seen her around. Seen her? Yeah. Anyways, I'll shut up, and we'll start the review. Should be a lot of fun. Should be better than a Taskmaster. Cross my fingers. Eh, let's get on to it, right? Okay, guys, so we have the Melissa Gold Songbird figure in front of you. So you have, the, obviously, the window uh, box for you. You have a Songbird right in the middle, her uh, sound-generated wings behind her. She uses technology similar to the claw to uh, make the sound into the, into the wing formation, like a solid object, so she can fly. Have a part for the Thanos figure. Going on that side you have a nice uh, profile pic a songbird there not looking a little relaxed maybe flying or whatever in the back you have another pic of the figure itself and the text says a cacophony of I don't know the word of skill and sonic powers make Melissa Gold the high pitched hero, hero songbird and on the bottom you have the uh, Thanos figure wave which we've already done up to Taskmaster we're doing her now and we have King Cobra I know it's a Serpent Society, but come on, it's King Cobra. He's a leader. Face it. That's who he is. You know, probably can't say because of the rights or whatever. And the Thanos figure, you know, that's going to be the big enchilada. I can't wait to do that. That's going to be pretty cool. So on that side, you have another uh, same pick of a uh, songbird, you know, f flying in the air or whatever. Back to the front. Thanos on the top. Avengers on that top. Legends on this top. Avengers on the bottom. So... I'm going to, you know, shut up, and we're going to do what we can with the articulation. Should be awesome. I hope. Oh, I don't get why, but this and the last figure I did, you know, have a little trouble standing up. I probably spent maybe about 20 minutes trying to get her in this pose so that she can stand up for the display. So we might just end up doing her in flying positions for the posing instead of actually having her stand up and fighting. But anyways... We'll do the usual stuff right now. So, you have Songbird right here. Looking nice with the detail. Like, you know, I like the paint job, paint apps. Right? Nice stripe designs on the legs. Nice uh, use of the plastic gold and everything. And, no, oh, she's standing up. Okay. Have Thanos' arm. I do wish that they had, like, the armored Thanos. But who knows? Maybe they'll maybe they'll come out with them in the future. But the arm just you know is like bare arm, right? You've seen the trailer, so obviously Thanos isn't all armored up. And uh, she comes with the uh, sound generated waves, wings, right? So she can fly. So um, pretty much after we'll we'll, after we'll put them up, the wings on after we do the uh, articulation test, right? Okay. So head goes back not so far because of the hair. Goes forward that far, side to side, and spin around. Arms go up. About that far. And I probably mocked up the uh, armor. Okay. 
I'm just go up that far and go all the way around. Uh, one joint and elbow, obviously. That goes all the way around. And uh, wrist back and forth and all the way around. Diaphragm goes back that far, goes forward that far, spin and rotation of the diaphragm. Legs go apart that far. Legs go forward and back that far. No rotation. Oh, there is hip rotation. Okay, I'm mistaken. Uh, double joint on the knees. No calf rotation, but she has the ankle back and forth and the rocking. So, um, not a bad design figure. I just wish we could, you know, then have trouble standing. No, we got her standing up that time. Who knew? But we're going to slap these wings onto her right now, and then we're going to put her in some flying poses, right? So that should be pretty cool. And she has that hole in the back for the wings. But the wings will probably, you know, weigh her down. But we'll put her in some fly, fly, flying poses regardless. Well, the wings will make her look, make her look cool, right? So, yeah, you're going to want to pose her with the wings because the wings really make this figure pop. So, obviously, if she's a flying figure, right? So, yeah, not a bad design, but, you know, obviously, sometimes the accessory makes a figure work a lot more than, some, more often than that, right? So, these wings, you know, really make her work. I do wish that she had an interchangeable head to make her look like she's, like, you know, projecting the sonic wave out of her throat, like, say, the, uh, Black Bolt figure I have, so you have to use your imagination, because I put her in a pose more or less like, you know, she's letting out a uh, supersonic scream or whatever. Because, you know, she did one time let out a scream for 45 seconds and it crossed the crater when she was screaming Mimi, so you gotta figure her vocal cords are uh, pretty powerful, and she's falling down. Because they always fall down, right? When I pose them. So, here we go again. And it's good. Okay, so once again, we're using the NECA display stand. They make her look like she's flying. I wish her head could just go a little bit more back. I know that the wings and the hair are getting away, but, you know, just to make it look like she sees where she's going, you know. But, you know, could do a lot worse, right? Still looks pretty cool. Well... The, the design, the color design, the uh, whatever makes it stand out, makes it look pretty cool for a display, but I wish you could do a little bit more with it, make it a little bit more extreme, like, you know, the hair and the wings kind of get in the way of making it, you know, the flying really pop, but something like this, you know, I, I have not, don't have any complaints over it, it looks pretty cool, looks uh, imposing, looks uh, spectacular, you know, but I wish you could do just a little bit more, just a little bit. Eh, well, whatever. We'll just put her next to her husband, uh, the Beatle, uh, Abner Jenkins, in, uh, on her display. If you want to find that video, you know, please look under the Marvel Legends playlist. He's there somewhere. So, thank you guys for watching. We're another figure down. We're getting closer to the Thanos. We're getting closer to the end of the wave. So I'm really getting excited. Not that I'm not excited already. But, you know, it's just going to be a fever pitch of excitement when we get there. So, um, the last figure in the wave before we do the build is the, uh, says Serpent Society, but we know is King Cobra, the leader of the Serpent Society. So that should be interesting. I'm just looking at paint alone, but we'll talk about that when we do the figure. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please stick around for the rest of the Infinity War wave figures um if you haven't please subscribe and uh, you know you can watch those the, and some future videos we got coming out so um so yeah thanks a lot i really appreciate it and uh we'll see you next time if you're still here why not click here to watch another video while you're at it thanks guys